What is up you guys? So I'm out here at Jerry's house once again and it is a freaking beautiful day. So basically today we're gonna try and cover a lot, well more than what I usually cover in the past couple videos. Like because past couple videos I only covered one thing like the uh, relay and the distributor. So we're going to try and get a lot more accomplished. If you guys can see me I hope you guys can. There now you guys can see me. I'm gonna try and basically bolt up the exhaust manifold down here. Yeah, it's a cage right here. Um, I'm gonna try and bolt the exhaust manifold up all the way because I still haven't got that bolted up all the way and completely like tightened down and everything. I wanna try and get the radiator in. I wanna try and get the intercooler in. I also want to replace my coil because I still gotta replace the coil. Uh, try and do a lot of that today. And then I'm probably going to end up filming a lot and get two videos out of the way today. So I'm probably going to get this whole video out, which is those four things. And then I'm also going to try and make another video about me wiring up the gauges. I'm going to try and knock a lot of stuff out today, get some videos. Because uh, Jerry explained it in the first Prelude video that I actually don't come out here at all during like the week. I only come out here during the weekend. And I want to have content for you guys basically every other day. I'm, I'm not making any promises that I will be able to give you guys content every other day, but I would like to. So what I try and do over the weekend is I stack up clips and basically make multiple videos over the weekend instead of just giving you guys two videos and then no content throughout the week. I think content is key for you guys, so I try and film as much as possible for you guys over the weekend with the 240 and whatever we can find. And I, I'm not trying to produce content just to produce content for the channel. Like I try and make sure it's stuff that you guys will be able to learn from or help you guys with future builds or whatnot. And maybe later in the channel we'll get into like some other things that aren't really car related. Um, but we'll find out. So, but yeah guys, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today is working on the KA and try and install those four things. And yeah, that should be it. So let's just turn these lights on. Much better. That'd be a cool little picture, wouldn't it? Okay, right here, and then the SR20 right there. All right, guys, so basically to start off, down here on the exhaust manifold, it's just eight studs, so you just wanna take, well, for me, I gotta take my manifold off, and I got my gasket right here, which is a copper gasket, and it's basically reusable. I got it off in Juku, but I think you can get it from like any auto parts store. It's like made by Mr. Gasket Co. or something like that for the KA and uh, yeah I'm gonna slide that on there and then I'm basically gonna tighten down my manifold but when I tighten down the manifold you want to make sure that you're tightening from the center and working your way out so starting from the center bolts and studs and working your way out like back and forth so you start to work your way out so you want to do that because then it lays the gasket down evenly and you're not going to tighten it from the outside in because then it just bends it like theoretically it bends the gasket and it doesn't seal properly so that's what I'm about to be doing right here. All right, you guys, so to get my manifold off, I have to take my whole coil bracket thing off, which pretty much my fault. I placed it here, so I probably shouldn't have placed it here because now it's interfering with taking the manifold off. So I'm probably gonna replace the whole coil setup somewhere else after I get the whole intercooler piping and everything ran because I set it here because basically the coil wire ran perfectly underneath the inlet pipe for the turbo, so. I'll probably hook the turbo up, not the turbo, I'll probably hook the coil up last after I see where the piping is and everything like that. And once I switch out the coil also, I'll do that while it's off. So that's what I gotta do now, just basically take the coil off because it's interfering with the manifold. So now that I got the coil off that was like right over here, I'm able to slide the whole turbo manifold off like that. And I already cleaned off the head a good bit where the where the gasket's gonna seal, which is like this little square looking thing. That's where it's gonna seal at. 
and just to be sure I'm gonna check my manifold to see and my manifold is pretty dirty so that pretty much sucks this is why you always prep before you always do this but I mean I'm gonna take some like light sandpaper and just scrub down the uh, the face of the manifold set it's all nice and clean and it seals properly so I'll do that right now So I got the whole manifold tightened down and everything and it's starting to worry me now because I was looking right over here if you guys can see you see like the the inside part of the part that's supposed to seal is sticking outside the manifold itself so hopefully I don't get an exhaust leak from that that would really suck so that's basically it for the manifold I'll find out if it has an exhaust leak when I start it up for the first time but now I'm going to move on to the intercooler piping most likely. So let's get started with that. Alright you guys, so I got my intercooler basically bolted up, and no this isn't like the final bolt up that's going to be, ever see, like, I have these little brackets right here, and then I'm going to end up doing some bottom brackets just to fasten it a little bit more. I'm basically just going to tighten up all the couplers, which are these things if you don't know what a coupler is, I'm going to tighten up those, like the clamps and stuff on, around them, so that when the car is running I don't have any boost leaks, because that was one of the issues I ran into when we boosted it before. But yeah, I'm going to go over all these couplers and everything, make sure they're all tight so I don't have any boost leaks. And then after that, take this hose right here that comes from underneath this manifold. That is your idle air control valve. Well, it goes to the idle air control valve. I'm going to slip that on here, tighten that up. Um, take this little vacuum line. This little vacuum line goes to the boost, um, not the boost control, the blow valve right here. So I'm going to hook that up. And then I'm going to start with the radiator and put my radiator hoses on and everything. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So now that I got the clamp tightened up on the blow-off valve and the idle air control valve, I'm going to take my radiator and fans and drop it in. So there we go. There you go, we're dropping shit in again.
marks here. You're in the fucking way, Josh. All right, so once I got all the radiator stuff in, I'm gonna change out the coil, which is this. So you got the bracket right here, and then you have. Why you, why you do this? Yeah, do the focus. Yeah. All right, so for the coil, you just got these two little screws and nuts on the back. Just take those off, and the coil itself pops off. You don't need to change the whole bracket with the igniter and the ground on it and everything. So just take the screws off, take this coil off, put the new coil on, and then it's ready to bolt the whole bracket onto the uh, chassis. Get off. Get off. So now that I got, basically, I got the coil hooked up to the bracket right here. But before I put this on, I want to put the like the intake part of the turbo. I'm gonna put this on so that I know where I'm able to run the coil, like when I hook the coil up and stuff, just so that I don't put it too far away from the wires and the harness. So I'm about to hook this up. I got my Z32, N62, whatever the freak it is, my air flow sensor. I'm going to hook this up to the freaking harness and everything and just bolt everything up right fast. Alrighty, so I uh, placed my coil right here. I got my intake pipe on. I'm looking at placing it right here instead of over here. Because if I have to take the exhaust manifold off, I have to take the coil off to get the exhaust manifold off because the turbo is going to hit it. So I'm thinking about putting it right here so that if I do have to take anything off, I just got to slide the intake. So yeah, I'm just going to drill some holes right here and then I already got some nuts and bolts. So I'm just going to bolt it down right here. All right, you guys, so we got the coil hooked up right here, and we also got a lot of the harness hooked up to where it needs to go. Um, so basically, all that we covered in this video, if you want to just skip to the end for some reason, but we hooked the coil up, we hooked the intake up, I have my mass airflow sensor hooked up down there, my cone filter also down there, if you guys can see that. Got the radiator hooked up, hoses are hooked up to the radiator, and going to the block in the head. I have my intercooler piping all hooked up, Blow off valves already ran, the vacuum line and everything. Everything is Gucci for this video, like I said. We got the manifold all bolted up. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to find out if my manifold has an exhaust leak or not from this little area that I showed you guys. So just stay tuned. And I guess, yeah, just stay tuned to the next video, you guys. Please do like and subscribe. Uh, check our social media, it's down in the description if you want to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. So see you in the next video, guys. Peace. Get off.